What up, what up, what up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian and you're watching Flight Garage and today we are going to be trying to adjust the seating position on my energy seats. I installed the set of energy seats on my Mazda V2000 a while back. I'll leave you guys a link to the video if you want to check it out. But basically we use a set of seat uh, Dragon seat adapters on there and nothing wrong with the adapters. They work perfect. They make the seats be able to go into the truck without too many issues. Uh, I think there was a little bit where we kind of were a little narrow so we did have to kind of expand it a little bit uh, but besides that they were perfect so the only problem i have with those adapters is that they do sit a little bit too high uh, the seating position just gets a little bit higher i'm a lot closer to the ceiling of the truck and i'm not a big fan of that so i want to switch that hopefully today by adding a set of oem adapters into the energy seats and i'm going to show you here in a bit what i have and what i'm thinking about doing i started messing with this a while back you can see my seat right here on the back and then I can show you here in the truck, we have the passenger one. This is going to be our test one and our driver's side. And you can see on the driver's side, we are super high up. So not a big fan of that. So we want to sit a lot lower than this right now. And again, we're going to test that on my passenger one. Everything's out. If we move over here, we have my seat. I've been messing with this. Actually, I think I started recording this video yesterday and it didn't work out exactly how I wanted to. And I'm explaining why. So you guys don't have to go through this if you're thinking about doing something like this. So if we are looking at our brackets here, here we have the ones I bought to uh, basically attach the seats into the Dragon adapters. We have a set of factory NRG seat brackets. This is what comes with your seats whenever you purchase them. And then on this side, we have the actual seat adapters from a Mazda truck. This is what comes on your OEM seats. Uh, if you found a set of bucket seats and they're torn up and everything like that, take these brackets off because you can adapt them hopefully to another seat and then use that instead, which is what we're going to try to do today. Um, I try to fit this into this bracket and it kind of lines up. It's not perfect. It's just a little bit off on one of them. The problem is that basically the energy seats are a lot more narrow than your OEM seats. So you can attach these two brackets into two of them here. Uh, again, it's not perfect, but you can attach them to them. But then when you try to put the seat into this, it doesn't go. It's, it's way too wide apart. It doesn't match with anything. You can put one side, but then the other one doesn't line up. So you can pretty much, again, I was not a big fan of this ones, throw them to the garbage. I've been keeping them just in case. And every time I try to use them, they don't work. So we have our new ones. These are the Invictus uh, seat brackets. And the reason why you're able to use this one is because you have this kind of bent in here. So while this is sitting potentially a little bit further apart, this top part actually is a little bit closer in. So then your seat is able to attach to it fine. You don't have no issues. But the issue that we're running into with that is that on our OEM brackets, the two factory holes for the seats are basically this very firm one and then this back one over here. Those two do not line up with this. For some reason, they're just, you can line up one side, but the other one doesn't line up and keep going back and forth and you cannot make it work. But all brackets have this small little like hole right there. Um, let me line, yeah, right there. So I don't know what that's for. It looks like maybe a plastic clip or something might've gone in there, but they both have it. So that hole and the back one do line up with this over here. So my idea is that we're going to basically drill this out a little bit, make it a little bit bigger, put a bolt through it, and then attach it to this seat bracket, which then will allow us to attach it to the NRG seat. So fingers crossed, everything works. Hopefully that doesn't give us any issues and we're able to line this up. And then we can try to see if this is going to work inside of the truck. So I haven't tried any of like the Corbo seat adapters and anything uh, that they sell online. So that's another option you have if you want to add some aftermarket seats. But join me and we'll find out if we can do it this way. So let's get into it. All right, so we drilled the holes in there and it was actually pretty easy. We just got a drill bit, pushed it through and it didn't give us a lot of trouble. Uh, so we have both of them uh, drilled out. They are good to go basically for our Invictus seats to kind of 
seat brackets to get attached to it. But one thing I want to mention is the slider mechanism on the OEM seats. Uh, because it relies a little bit on your factory seat uh, when you want to basically slide it back and forth. It is a little bit iffy when you're trying to attach it into something else outside of the truck. And I'll show you here, for example, here we're looking at one of the seat brackets. Basically, this little cable is what functions the slider on it. And if it doesn't have enough tension, if it's not set up right on the truck, it's going to not activate basically this side. And let me show you here on the truck itself. So if we move over here to my truck, I put this in place just to kind of show you. If you thinking about doing this, you need to make sure this cable has enough tension so that when you activate this up, this side pull, pulls up too. Now, obviously it's not gonna move. There's no, there's no nothing on here for head to slide back. But once you have your seat bracket in here, it should be able to slide back. But Right now, we are looking good. We have our holes right here on this one too. So I think for me to attach it and not mess up this tension, I'm gonna have to put the seat brackets uh, in here while it's in the truck. I think that's gonna be just a, a, a good starting point for right now. And then we're gonna test out how it looks. So I'm excited. I think we're making some good progress. This seats need a little bit of love. I mean, this needs a little bit of pain, maybe a little bit of the, deep rust or a rust stabilizer or something like that so they don't look that ugly but i just want to get the seat in here first so we can see if we actually manage to sit a lot lower compared to the dragon seats because if it does then i can just take them off and do what i need to do to the brackets and then put them back in here but yeah i'm excited for it we're looking good we're making some progress right now so let's move on into trying to get those in here and see how it goes <laughs> So if you saw just a bit ago, uh, I'm sure I didn't get the best shots on those. It was kind of hard to kind of be crawling around and moving and get anything on focus. So I apologize for that. But basically the seat is back in the truck. And let me show you, we are talking about some major, major gains here. Um, right off the bat, you can probably tell, I mean, we are sitting almost a little bit past half of the window uh, versus over here. We were basically just touching the top of the window in there. So that's that's awesome. I think we gained or lost, however you want to see it, about four to five inches maybe. We are sitting a lot lower on the ground. We This is just a way better, more comfortable position for me. Basically, the old brackets, uh, this has a bit of a slope. They're kind of going back, so you get a more natural kind of uh, higher on the front of your legs, uh, a little bit lower where your butt is. So this, this just feels more comfortable. Before, where this was kind of straight, we had a more upright position. It was uncomfortable. It's just not great for, for driving around town and, and just being super, super straight up. And then also feeling like I'm about to hit the ceiling here. So super excited about that. Everything's working out great so far. So now I just gotta do the driver's side. And I know you're probably wondering, well, I couldn't really tell the difference or maybe it wasn't too noticeable inside of the truck. So here I have both brackets. So hopefully this will give you a better idea uh, of how much higher the Dragon adapters are. Uh, you are probably, I would say a good, maybe three inches right on the back. And this has a bit of a slope and this one's kind of sloping forward right now, but basically the front of it, this point is the same on both of them. So this sits a little bit higher on the front of the actual truck. And then it's supposed to kind of slope back uh, where right now this one's basically straight because there's no slope here. And this one's kind of sloping the other way forward. Um, so this just makes your seat be a lot higher. Holy shit. All right, terrible news. I lost half of my beer there. I knocked it over an accident. But anyway, so you probably could tell that, you know, just on the bracket itself, we are losing some height, which is awesome. Again, these brackets work great. They, there was no issues really with them outside of the height of them. So I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Maybe I'll put them to the side. Maybe I'll throw them up on the website. So check the links in the description, guys. We always posting uh, links for tools and stuff like that. 
uh, links to the website. If you want to support the channel with a sticker or anything like that, you can check it out there. But yeah, I might throw this one on the website and put them for sale maybe. Not sure yet. Don't count on that, at least right now. So yeah, now that we have this, we are, this one's, I already drilled them out. So they are good to go into the driver's side and I just need to get the driver's side out. So let's do it. so after a bit of a struggle i got the seat out and now it's ready for me to start swapping the new uh, brackets into it this is the driver's side and i know you i know what you're thinking you're probably like brian why don't you just take out the truck outside or take the trailer out and uh besides having a few cars right in the driveway right now that are in the way it's actually cold outside believe it or not it's uh 50 something degrees i know you're thinking that's not too cold but whatever it's 50 something degrees outside and it's actually 71 in here 72 it just went up so it's 72 according to my thermostat in here. So the insulation is working as far as I can tell. We are a lot warmer inside of the garage, which is why I'm working in here and dealing with the small space issues that we have. But yeah, we are ready to get this dragon bracket off of the driver's seat. to make enough space to uh, fit in here so i just ended up doing this the same way i did the other one we installed our brackets in here this one is a little bit harder to uh, move around which kind of sucks because i'm using that on the driver's side but i think once i get it set up i'm not gonna move it i don't really move my seat that much once it's set up so i think it'll be okay but we are ready to put this on and we should be ready to then put the seat in here and I think we're gonna it's work it's gonna work out great. I think it's gonna be an awesome, way better sit in position here. So y'all in everything is back in the truck as you can see we put our little covers here everything down here looks factory besides our actual seat bracket in here but this is such a way better seating position for me before we basically had to open the door in here and kind of hop over the side bolster just because the seat was so high up now it's just a smooth transition into the car and uh, we can just kind of let ourselves go into the seat and it's just nice and smooth so I'm very excited about this, very happy with this. I'm so glad I kept these brackets. I actually have posted them for sale for a little bit, but nobody wanted to buy them. And uh, after I moved, I considered throwing them away. And I'm so glad I didn't because they came in super handy. Now, now I have a comfortable position here. I can actually see my gauges before they were kind of being blocked by the top of my steering wheel here. So super happy with this. Uh, they turned out great and they're working awesome. So. The other brackets, I'm probably gonna store them for a bit right now. I don't know what to do with them yet, so uh, might throw them on the website or something. I don't know. Check the links on the bottom of the description. Uh, have links to my website. Uh, if you wanna buy a sticker or something like that, you can find it down there. And if I'm doing anything where I'm using tools and stuff, usually I'll leave uh, some tool details and some links to anything like that. Uh, so, but yeah, that's kind of all I have today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Thank you.